Okay, so I got the remote, the battery on the drone connected, and so that'll do some flashing, some startup, and some lights will flash on the drone when the battery's connected. Uh, you can tuck the battery away in there. I trust you can get it connected and all that. All right, so the fire up, <clears throat> put the battery in the drone, and turn the battery on the remote. So now what you'll see is you'll see there's a lot more information on the remote. So we have a lot more stuff to look at. So real quick, um, just go around the remote to see, and then we will get into calibrating and the flight of the drone. So on the right hand side, or left hand side, excuse me, at the top, you have the battery level of the drone. It's at the top, it says X4. And right now it's got a full battery and the volts are at 8.3. It usually, when you fly the drone, as you fly the drone, the battery will be depleted and you will also see the volts. It will go down from 8.3 down and it'll start counting backwards. So what I like to do and what I've heard is you should stop flying when your volts get down around 7.2 or 7.1 and you should never ever let the volts get like 6.9 or 6.8. So just to keep an eye on the volts and they'll tell you how much battery you've got and you should be good there. Next is the roll and the pitch um, and then the horizon. So the roll and the pitch are at zero, and when the drone is on a flat surface, <clears throat> those, letter, those numbers should be at zero. And you can see as I move the drone around, those numbers move, okay? So that's that. Over on the right-hand side, this is your, at the top is your speed, so it's meters per second. The red, is your altitude and you kind of see the <clears throat> excuse me you can kind of see the up and down so as you go up the altitude will go up and then the one on the bottom the green that's your distance away from the remote or distance away from your position so um, this drone does need to be uh, registered with the FAA it's heavy enough and has to be so it's five dollars you get a little red little certificate. You have to put the number on the drone, things of that nature. However, by law, you can only fly up to 400 feet. So one important thing to keep in mind is this altitude meter is in meters. So therefore, three feet equals a meter, right? So you should never fly higher than about 125 meters. Otherwise, you could get in trouble. Your drone could get shot down and just not fun. So anyway, so that's the red. So on the bottom, what you have here is you have your different GPS. So on the bottom in the green, you can see it's the remote. It's how many GPS satellites that the remote has. And right now it has five or six. And then the, on the top is basically how many GPS satellites the drone has. So you should always have, when you're outside and after we calibrate the compass, you'll have like six, you should not fly unless you have more than six GPS on either the remote or the, the drone. So, um, so yeah, so the other, other things you'll see is on the top, you'll see that's the, the, on the left is the photo, on the right, on the right is the, that means you have an SD card in. So if we press photo, on the remote it'll say photo and it'll take a photo and it tells you how many photos you have left on the right if we press the record button it starts to record record happens and it tells you how long you're recording press record again it'll stop the top number will go green and that's how much time you have left on the video card SD card to record um, so yeah, so that's the remote. Um, there's another feature of the remote. You can put it in, go into the menu, and the way you do that is you hold down the right stick and you press down on the throttle. It's hard to do with one hand. 
Anyway, so we can maybe figure that out later. But it'll tell you in the book, in the instruction manual, on how to do it. So we'll stop there. And the next one will be how to calibrate and the compass and everything for the drone.